Welcome to the ProcureTech Podcast, bringing insight and inspiration into how digital technology is shaping our profession. I'm your host, James Meads, tea drinker, expat, <laughs> definitely not your typical consultant. Yes, welcome to the ProcureTech Podcast. First of all, a huge Thank you for listening to this. This is the very first episode that we're recording. And this is really just to give you an outline and an overview of what to expect from the different series of the podcast. So first of all, just a really quick introduction. My name is James. I'm a seasoned procurement professional of 18 years, worked in both indirect and direct procurement. Uh, I've lived in three different countries and spent extended periods of time in another two. And yeah, why I wanted to start this podcast is really because as a practitioner, as a procurement professional, I was both fascinated and frustrated in equal measure about just how unproductive an average procurement professional's day can be. And if I take a quote from uh, an American marketing guru called Perry Marshall, one of his favorite phrases is, the average $100,000 per year executive spends over half of his time doing insignificant $10 per hour tasks. And that really rang true to me when I read that as a procurement professional, because we get tied up so much just battling our inbox and dealing with day-to-day operational stuff and red tape. And a lot of that is because the processes and the systems, especially the systems that we use, just aren't really conducive to solving the problems that we need to solve and making our results visible. And I really think that now with all of these new ProcureTech solutions that are out there, these can really give us the opportunity to shine and make what we do a lot more transparent and at the same time, a lot more efficient too. But of course, it's not without its downsides or without its risks or without its watchouts. And as, as part of the podcast, I'm going to bring both sides of the argument. There are people out there that aren't really convinced or sold on the idea that All of these digital procurement software providers claim with their large marketing budgets that they're the be all and end all and the magic miracle solution. So, of course, it's obviously not that simple. And we're going to bring both sides of the story here. So, how are we going to do this? Well, In each podcast, we will bring you either a story of a successful procurement transformation because, hey, case studies are the best evidence and the best persuasive argument to bring the message home that this can actually work and drive results. Uh, We will showcase different solutions providers that are out there so as you can learn more about what they do and how their product or service differentiates itself from the competition or what specific niche of digital procurement that solves. And we will also shine a light on some of the other variables which can definitely have an impact on how successful your digital procurement transformation journey can be. I'm talking here about things like process and data and governance and risk management and obviously culture too. I mean, if you've got a corporate culture that is very resistant to change or if you've got people in key positions that just refuse or put roadblocks in place to adapt this technology, then obviously it's going to make your mission that much harder to succeed versus a very progressive, open-minded organization. So we're going to tackle all of that in equal measure over the coming episodes and series. And yeah, that's really it. That's what our message is in a nutshell. Each episode we imagine will be 20 to 25 minutes long. So is it something that you can listen to on a typical commute? And I would love to get your feedback if there's anything along the way that you would like us to bring you. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the ProcureTech podcast. 
If you like the show, then please subscribe or even better, why not write us a quick review on Apple Podcasts? It would not only really make my day, but it would also help our mission to enable procurement and finance leaders to become more data-driven through the power of digital transformation.